Okay, let's take this uh, Chrysler Voyager 2.5 turbo diesel for a spin. Let's turn the stereo off. All the warning lights come up properly. And everything goes out the way it should, ABS light and everything. Starts on the button, engine sounds nice for a diesel. Um, no nasty noises from the engine at all. Gearbox feels nice and uh, um, taut as well. Clutch is okay. Let's put it in the first gear as we go around here. No unpleasant noises whilst we're in reverse. And off we go this way. Um, a driveway like this always gives away if there's any suspension imperfections or anything or clunking. This one is fine, there's not a, a clunk or a groan or a rattle to be had over rough uh, terrain, so uh, the suspension seems to be all nice and up together on this one. So, just push our way out of here a bit. That's a nice man, let's go, see, bro. Off we go. The doors have locked themselves now. Uh, it's got the anti-hijacking feature on there. Turn some lights on. Drives beautifully. Um, the only thing I can criticise it on, it may be a feature. I haven't driven one of these for a long time. But there just seems to be a very slight flat spot in the torque curve around about 2,000 RPM. Um, doesn't really affect the way I drive it unless you're really pushing on hard. It just feels about 2,000 RPM as if it's just a slight flat spot in the torque curve. Um, aside from that, drives absolute well, that's not really an issue, but it does drive absolutely superbly anyway. As I say, drivetrain's nice and quiet. Um, there's no more rattling than you'd expect from a diesel that's only done 71,000 miles. Um, can't really fault it in terms of uh, its, uh, its transmission or drivetrain or anything, or anything like that. Uh, tracks nice and straight, so it seems to be, yeah, doesn't seem to be veering to uh, left or right or anything. Stops nicely. It's got ABS on this one, obviously. Being the uh, the LE model, um, it's got nice spec. You've got uh, electric driver's seat operation, um, electric windows for driver and front passenger, and the rear vent windows are electric as well. Um, we have power folding electric mirrors. What else do we have on these ones? Airbags for driver and front passenger. Uh, we also got cruise control. We'll see if that, uh, how well that functions in a minute. Let's set that on. Yep, that's all working nicely. Uh, we've also got air conditioning down here. Um, decent stereo, radio, radio cassette system in here. With the, the big infinity speakers and everything like that. Up here we've got the compass and trip computer and everything. So we're trying along quite happily now at 60 and it's just uh, feels pretty quiet. Ignore my phone. Um, in front of us here we've got the uh, instrument pack. You've got temperature gauge here on the left. Uh, that's sitting exactly where it should at the halfway point. Rev counter, speedometer, and fuel gauge to the right there. Um, all the warning lights are on top here. They've obviously all uh, all out. Um, that's about it. So nice spec, nice car, drives well. You know, it's a it's a good MPV. These. Anyway, my name is Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352. End.